Hey everyone, it's Colin Bodville here for ifsetglobal.com and today I'm going to be doing a very special review of a Vigilon's new microdome camera. The exact model number I'll be showing you today is the 2.0-H3M-D01. Let's take a look at the camera now. So the first thing you'll notice about this camera is that it is in fact extremely small. It's a little bit larger than the size of a golf ball and if you're like me and you have two little kids so you've forgotten what a golf ball looks like, it's about half the size of a Thomas the Tank Engine train. Taking a look at the camera unit itself, you'll see that it's in a white casing with a black housing for the image sensor and lens. You can use that black housing to roll around inside of the white cover to aim the camera. If you remove the security screw on the back of the unit and open it up, you'll see that inside there's really not much else to it. Flipping to the other end of this wire, you'll see that the connector for the camera has a rubber sleeve on it here for its IP66 rating. If we remove that sleeve, you'll see the Ethernet jack inside as well as a small reset button and your activity lights. That's really all there is to this camera. So now, let's get techy. A Vigilance Microdome camera is available in a 1 and 2 megapixel model. It can stream up to 30 frames per second and supports both H.264 and MJPEG compressions. This Microdome camera comes with a built-in factory focused 2.8 millimeter lens that gives it an 86 degree angle of view. It is IP66 rated for outdoor use and is powered using power over ethernet only. Lastly, it is ONVIF compliant. That's it for Techie Talk, so now let me tell you what I like about this camera. The first thing I really liked about this camera is the clever design and how they fit the circuitry inside the external connector, but the connector is still small enough that you can insert it through a one and a quarter inch hole and mount the camera over that hole to cover it. The other thing that I really liked about this camera is the image quality. Other than some slight lens distortion from the smaller form factor, the image quality was right up there with the rest of a Vigilance cameras. It's also a two megapixel camera, which is tough to find in the discrete model. That's it for what I like about this camera. So now let me tell you what I didn't like about it. The first thing that I didn't like about this camera is the mounting system. The screws to mount the camera sit very close to the hole that you have to drill to insert the connector through. It's vitally important that you don't do what I did the first time and you actually use the mounting template to fix the camera to the wall. That being said, even using the mounting template, it's tricky and there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for people to get used to that. The other thing that I didn't like about this camera is aiming it. The way that it fits inside of the housing itself, it's very tricky and you need to loosen the screw to aim the camera and then it can move around and it just is very tight inside of that unit. That's it for what I didn't like about this camera. I will say that overall it was an excellent camera and I can see it being really useful in residences, commercial offices, retail and condo buildings. The only other thing I will mention about this camera is that it does not have a night functionality. So it's really important that if you're going to use this camera, even though it's IP66 rated and it can go outdoors, be aware that you will need to have good lighting conditions. That's it for this review. If you have any questions or comments or you'd like to take me golfing, then please leave a message in the comment section below. See you next time.